Simon, I know you like him, I um, uh, and I, I think you know where I stand on on his behaviour of late. Not not when he first came to this country at Chelsea you just and, and everything he did. No, that's not true. I've got no problem with that him. Was lucky, don't. I just don't like the way he bullies people in the technical area and the touchline. The officials, etc., etc., referees, you know, it feels like a bit of a vendetta you've got against and, uh, No vendetta. I, I did not put the V in vendetta. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Jose Mourinho. Mike Keegan in the mail reports that Mourinho is keen on making a return to Manchester United. I bet he is. Can, can you believe that? Um, apparently, he has made it his mission to take charge again, should the opportunity come about. Oh, yeah. um, before I get your take on that, uh, do re- we really want this back? What was the result? 3 0. 3 0. Do you know what this means? 3 0. But also mean 3 premierships, and I won more premierships alone than the other 19 managers together. 3 for me and 2 for them. Respect, 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 man, respect, respect. Respect, respect. What's wrong with that then? The key line is won them, I won them alone. Uh, not really. He didn't say that. You've got to oh. take things in context. He's responding, no doubt, to some hairy backside journalist that put some facetious question <laughs> to him, and he's now making sure that he puts him in his place, That's... which I quite like people to do. I know you do. I know you do. So but, why I do mean, you, what about all the wonderful things he said in press conferences? Is that it we appropriate? Enjoy? Is it appropriate Vendetta. for him to come back now after after we've seen the Mourinho of late? We saw the Mourinho at Tottenham. We saw the Mourinho at Manchester United. More recently, we saw the Mourinho at Roma in the bowels of the stadium, having a real tilt at Anthony Taylor. And Taylor goes to. Uh, we've been through this before. Taylor then goes to the airport with his family, and he cops it off very nasty, ill-mannered, and aggressive yeah, Roma yeah. fans. Why did? that happened because Josie put them up to it yeah. and he still doesn't recognise the fact that Seville beat them in that European final yeah yeah we've got anyway. managers in this country that call referees cheats and turn around and say the entire refereeing system is, is worse than anything else in Europe so they're all at it now the argument is doesn't Josie Mourinho put aside the controversies that they all get involved in one way or t'other and look at the body of work and the question is does he fix the problems at Manchester United well that's the question does he no I don't think so I don't think there's a case to be asked uh, you know, asked, asked or answered on that one. Jose Mourinho had his shot at Manchester United, and for whatever reason, he it finished the way that he did. I don't think they got the best version of Jose Mourinho. I don't think they got the most committed version of Jose Mourinho, and only he can answer that question properly and say that he was. But living in a hotel is not my idea of being committed. But spending as much time in London as you are in Manchester, not my idea of being committed. There will no doubt be extenuating factors that underlie that. But I can't think what. I mean, well, if you were Woodward, would you have said to Mourinho? Well, they were family matters. Here's the deal. I think his Buy father. I think here. his father wasn't well, and things of that nature. Yeah. But the point is, is that mm. United won things. United gave themselves opportunities to build upon it. He didn't get players that he wanted, and then that was the that was the breaking point from him. I think it was Harry Maguire he wanted, which ironically they they signed a year later under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. No, I don't really think. Besides the image of Jose Mourinho, there's a sustainable case in yeah. today's climate to yeah. suggest that Jose Mourinho would fit at Manchester United and would be the person to lead them back to the to salvation, which is winning leagues, which yeah. is their salvation. I mean, it's a new era. Um, should he be included in this new era? That, I think that's the question. Does he still have it? That's the bottom line. Well, Does I he think, still have what he had when he came here? I think... Um, I think Mourinho still operates at a higher level than most managers, but that higher level needs to be as high as it can go, and I'm not sure that that's there anymore. And that's not me running him down. I just think the the, the trajectory for Mourinho is Tottenham Hotspur Roma. Roma's a big football club. My Italian friends in Spain will be getting incredibly irritated with me by suggesting they're not a big football club, but they're not a, they're not a big football club in terms of winning things in recent times. And Mourinho ends up there. And I don't think that's a natural then... Oh, I'll tell you what, the next person for Manchester United, in the event there is a next person... I, I think it's just Jose, insofar as there's some substance behind this, and, and Mike Keegan is a decent journalist, so I suspect it probably is. Oh, he's good. Su- yeah. Suggesting that he'd like to be back at Man United. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd like to have a Global Express jet. Doesn't mean I'm going to get one, does it? <laughs> um, and the fact is, is you're better than what United have got in Ten Hag at this time. Well, we don't know what Ten Hag is, do we? Well, we don't know what he is. We're trying to work out what he is. We're trying to work out how much of these problems are of his own making, how much of the culture of Man United is rotten that it needs to be rooted out. It's now, you know, the doctor reputa- represents, ampu- you know, recognises the need for amputation rather than band-aids. We don't know 
And, and I think that after 18 months, we should know more. OK, last season's achievements gave you cause to be optimistic. This season, we're seeing a Man United side that's not very good, quite easy to play against, not likely to win very much, and ultimately suggest that that's progress. But again, I make the observation that perhaps, you know, these are not marathons. Sorry, these are not sprints, these are the marathons. Mm. But Man United will always be a sprint. It'll always be a sprint because it's not going to allow it to be anything else, which means you need sprinters in there. You need guys that of can course. hit the ground running. And Ten Hag is trying. Yeah. He's trying to change the culture. And he's trying to say no more of this nonsense, no more of this lackadaisical, easy ozy, forget yeah. who you're playing for mentality. Yeah. Out Martial, not having you Sancho, get rid of Ronaldo, yeah. not having this behaviour left, right and centre. And it comes at a consequence because it looks like it's bloodletting. And it may be that he's doing things the right way. The problem is, is his team aren't very good. So he doesn't look like he's winning on any particular front. And all we've got left is the image of Man United. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.